Hello. Okay, today uh, what I'm going to get you to do first of all is to take a moment and have a think about a lifelong dream or goal, something that you are currently working toward. Um, ideally something that has been uh, on your mind for quite a while to achieve and you've been making some progress or even just had it on your mind for a, s a certain length of time. Um, so hopefully you've all got something in mind um, and now what I want to ask is so this dream of yours, this goal that you're pursuing, is it still relevant? Is it still something that you still want? Um, I meet two people generally in the work that I do. I meet people without a plan and Therefore, time is spent actually creating a goal, um, something to strive toward. I also meet people who had a plan um, that maybe they formulated a long, long time ago. And um, because they've never take, taken time to review and reflect on that plan, they've never actually identified whether it's still relevant or not. Um, and often a lot of frustration comes about because people are working towards something that they suddenly realise actually isn't relevant anymore. Um, and it's... Um, oh, the dog's around. Um, and it's something that's worth taking a bit of time to do. Um, and not only on a personal level, but if you run a business, it could be something that... Um, you also are experiencing within your organisation um, that maybe the mission statement that started your business actually has changed. It's not relevant anymore. Um, the one thing that is guaranteed in life, I've said it before, is change. Change will always happen. Um, the world keeps turning, time keeps moving on and Therefore, if things are changing around you, it is vitally important that you stop and reflect and see what is still relevant in your life. Um, so the idea of taking time out, it doesn't have to be long, take a little bit of time out just to reassess. Is what you're doing still relevant to your life and your situation now? If it is, great, because actually what that should do is create a little bit more motivation for you to keep going. Um, and maybe it might give you a boost and the kick that you need to, to head towards or get some clarity uh, with the goal or dream that you are heading toward. Um, make it more exciting, more enticing, and actually realise that it is as relevant now as it was then. And, um, and that will motivate you. That will get you excited about it. There's also the other thing that you could take a moment and just say, why am I pursuing this? My life is nothing like what it was when I first had this goal, this dream. And actually, I don't want it anymore. Um, that is just as likely. So, one of the issues people come across is that they don't take this time to recognise whether what they're working toward is still relevant in their life as it is now. Now, it's, it's great to have a dream, it's great to have a goal, it's, it's not necessary, I've never had one um, and it served me pretty well, um, however some people do function a lot better when they do have one um, and I think generally all of us are better with a plan, um, no matter how small the goal might be or the, the thing that you want to achieve is, um, having a plan is always a good way of ensuring that what you want happens. Um, without a plan, things can take um, a very long time to achieve and um, and also um, it, it motivates you more when you've got a plan. It's far, far more motivating. You are more likely to, to achieve your goals. Um, however, are they relevant? So I hope I'm getting the point across. This is about relevance. This is about relevance about maybe not just your dream and your goal, but about Lots of things. Um, you know, I, I hear so often people say, oh yeah, yeah, I, I don't do that. Why? Um, oh, I've never done that. So, maybe you could now, 
because are you the same person that you were when maybe 20 years ago you decided you weren't going to do something? Because actually the person 20 years ago um, might not have been capable of doing it. The person you are now could be incredibly capable, might have enjoyed it. Um, I think it's one of those things, I can certainly relate to food. Um, I always loved the smell of parsnips, roasted parsnips, and um, hated the taste of them. Really, really didn't enjoy them. But I loved the smell of them so much that I kept making myself eat them. And most of the time, it was a reminder that, yeah, I really don't like the taste of parsnips. And then one day, one day, I ate a roasted parsnip and thought, mmm, it's nice. And they actually tasted like they smelled. Um, and since then, I've eaten roasted parsnips. I'm not discounting that one day I might dislike roasted parsnips again because things change. Our tastes change. Um, but it was just a great example. Um, now Marmite, you see, that's where you lose me because I hate Marmite and I know it's a love or hate thing um, and I do still smell it but I can't even stomach the smell of it so but I do still smell it and I have it in my cupboard, cupboard for friends um, but yeah um, but I will still maybe one day eat Marmite it's not beyond the realms of possibility um, but look this this is what I'm gone a little off track there um, but I'm getting the point across we change life changes things change around us so sticking to one thing because that's what you've always decided you are going to do might not be the right thing it might not be the best thing for you so the idea is is just check on all the things that you think are they relevant to you now and particularly with what this post is about which is about your goals and your dreams the things that you are working toward achieving just take a moment write down what it is that you're working toward and then ask yourself that question is this still relevant to who I am now and the life I'm living now do I actually still want this dream that I'm busting a gut making sacrifices for, is it actually what I want? So there you are, that's one for you to go away with today and ponder uh, and um, well as I always say please visit my website um, www.super-humans.com um, subscribe to this YouTube channel it's free and it just means that you'll be notified when um, when I post new videos which is weekly um, unless I'm poorly um, and yeah I think that's about it follow me on Twitter at the lovely Rob um, my Facebook page is superhumans and um, yeah and comment if you if you're enjoying these videos please comment if you're not enjoying them don't um, as my mother always says if you don't have anything nice to say don't say anything at all um, however you can like these videos and um, yeah share tell people about it um, anyway I'm gonna leave you to it so have yourself a super week and I will catch up with you very very soon okay take care bye